if you peep that this person or these people are trying to make you feel smaller than them if you feel like these people are trying to dim your light so you can't shine brighter than them if you feel like there is a competitive spirit in your circle if you feel like there is somebody who just just wants to be better than you because they feel like you're trying to be better than them but they only feel like that because they're insecure and you're only doing you you're just trying to do you and you've spent your whole life doing you but along the way you have people trying to say that you're arrogant you got people trying to say you're cocky you think you're all that this and that and the other and they always have something negative to say about you because when they look at you they see an aura that shines so bright that it's blinding them and really can you blame them let's be honest can you really blame a person <laughs> who gets a little upset or gets a little uncomfortable gets a little in insecure when a motherfucker is shining so bright that the light is just disrespecting their retina that is just shattering any type of 2020 vision they may have had they can't even see straight no more because your shine and your aura and your glow is just so expansive and they're wondering why the fuck am I not shining like that not knowing what it took for you to shine like that you don't even know how many lifetimes that person has lived for them to shine like that you don't know how many hours they had to put in to grind like that and they're just looking at you and they're upset they're envious they're jealous because they see your spirit shining through even if you might not see it and a lot of spiritual people or religious people or people who are knowing that they have a higher purpose here to serve for God, right? To raise the vibrations here that we have on this earth. A lot of these people, spiritual people, religious people, people who have a solid connection with God or are on their journey to do so. A lot of us who know that we have a bigger purpose here on earth. A lot of us go through our whole lives trying to hide in the darkness, trying to make sure we don't shine too bright. It's so funny because <laughs> the main people who shine so bright, they spend a lot of their lives, a lot of the times, trying to make sure that they don't make other people feel uncomfortable by how bright they're shining. So they self-sabotage. They try to make sure that they don't get too successful or they don't get too much money or they don't you know get too much abundance in every aspect of my life because i don't want other people to you know talk bad about me because we all know what comes with success one of the main things that comes with success is hate from other people who just ain't got it like you and the fact of the matter is anybody can do what another person has done if there is a motherfucker on this planet who has done it you can do it too but instead of getting off your ass and doing the work that it takes to become the best version of yourself so you can be applauded not only for the people but for you so you can say hey god i did the things that i wanted to do i manifested my desires and dreams instead of doing that the easier route is to hate on that person who you see that seems higher than you but you don't understand that person not higher than you that person is on the same level as you that person just made different choices made sacrifices put in the work and the effort to get to where he's at or she's at and anything that that person can do i got my own version of that that i can bring to the world but you see it's a lot of people who are gonna hate on you and most of the time, it's people who are not doing better than you. Because people who are doing better than you don't have time to hate on you. They're too busy putting forth the effort it takes to manifest an even greater reality than what they're on right now. So they can give a fuck about what you think. So like I said, if you have people out here who are trying to dim your light, trying to make you feel 
belittle you and try to make you feel like you're crazy or you're weird you know what i'm saying because you're tapped in and tuned in and you're on your spiritual purpose you are doing what god says that you need to be doing at the current moment in time and you're following your intuition you know there's gonna be some people are like man that's weird you know she does that spiritual stuff or you know she does that religious stuff and she talks to god or you know she's like going to therapy for like healing herself and stuff i don't know what that is you know like people are always going to hate on things that they don't understand so i don't want you to take it personal don't take it personal because a lot of people will hate the things that they don't understand they will fear and be afraid of things that they don't understand but i want you to do you anyway i want you to elevate anyway i want you to just be different anyway who wants to stay the same who wants to be mediocre who wants to be average if you want to be average go ahead and be average it don't take no effort at all to be average but if you know that you were sent here for a purpose, you cannot allow anybody or any hate or anyone. I don't care if it was your mama whose birth canal you slid out of or C-section baby. I don't care what it was. Even the person who brought you into this world, your mother or your father or your twin sister, twin brother. I don't care how close you are. If you have people that are being negative, people who are trying to steer you off of your path there will be some people in your life who also really care about you but you still can't listen to them either because their vision is different than your vision your vision is only for you to see most of the time nobody else will see your vision until you make your vision a reality that's why it's called your vision you see it through your eyes nobody else can see the vision some people are able to see the vision even when you can't see it and shout out to them those people you should have in your life because those people can breathe life into you when times get dark these people can be the sunshine in the rain in a, in a storm in stormy weather they can bring the sunshine they can be that flicker to light you back up light the fire back under your ass to let you know hey you might be going through this or going through that you might have this difficulty that challenge but at the end of the day look I see the vision and you can go places, right? So keep those type of people around you. But the people who don't see the vision, once again, don't take it personal. God gave you that vision so you could be the one to fulfill that vision. If it was for everybody to see, he would give your vision to everybody. And he would show everybody, right? He showed you your vision because you are the one that's supposed to go ahead and manifest that shit. It's up to you. But I'm going to tell you, life is going to be a lot harder if you allow the people in your circle, you allow people into your vibration and energy who tries to put you down or try to make you feel like you ain't doing shit. Oh my God, now that she done woke up, she went through her little spiritual awakening and stuff, now she thinks she's just so much better than me. Now she thinks she just, you know what I'm saying, this and that, and oh, you so close to the God and this and that and the other. Like, <laughs> there's gonna be people who you used to hang with that you can't hang with as much no more. Why? You're on the grind, you're on your purpose. You got different activities, you don't participate in the activities you used to participate in before. So naturally, you're not going to be able to spend as much time with them people because your priorities have changed. Your lifestyles have changed, right? So the new version <laughs> is that people going to hate on a new version of you. I'm going to just be honest with you, man. There's going to be some friends who fall off because you no longer engage in the same activities that they do. You no longer find satisfaction in the same conversations that they do. Y'all are not really going to have much to talk about because y'all used to talk about other people or y'all used to talk about small minded things, right? Y'all used to, you know, party and drink and just, just, just do stupid shit together, right? Get high, whatever the case is. Not saying it's an issue. I'm just saying maybe that's not the path that you're on anymore maybe you were wasting a lot of time now you're on your grind and some of those same people gonna be like dang you switched up diamond damn you switched up or whatever your name is dang rachel done switched up dang tommy done switched up dang sarah done switched up man she used to be so cool she was so down she said she would never change he said he would never change now he over here he acting brand new <laughs> He acting brand new. Yes, nigga, because I'm a brand new human being. And I think in society, they have also programmed and brainwashed us into believing that changing 
is something that is supposed to be negative what they say they always say don't change man don't change never change never change if you never change you're gonna stay the same stay the same stay average stay mediocre stay on the level that everybody else is on no nigga i want more in life i want to elevate i want to educate i want to do more be more have more you know what i'm saying all of these things and that's gonna take me changing right for the better i'm not gonna change for the worse <laughs> I'm going to change for the better. So when people say don't change, tell them, uh, if you want to stay the same, you do you. Okay, you do you. Me, I'm going to change. Because in order for you to elevate in life, in order for you to learn and grow, you must change. And this change must come from within. Everything that you see on the external is a manifestation of what's going on within yourself. You want to know how you feel subconsciously about anything in your life? Look at all the aspects of your life. Health, wealth, relationships, right? Career, anything. Your success in every area is due to how you feel subconsciously, on a subconscious level within you. But I'm getting off track. Once again, like I said, if people are telling you that now you done switched up, now you just seem so arrogant now you see you know oh she thinks she better than me now oh she thinks she better than us she used to be able to chill with us and this and that oh you know what i'm saying they still doing the same things they still gossiping still talking about the people in their friend groups and still smiling in their face right but you don't want to do that no more you don't want to be on that it's okay to level up and why you level up some people you're gonna have to leave behind you sometimes it's gonna hurt but these same people, I'm telling you, there's going to be people who are jealous and envious of you. And sometimes it's going to hurt because it's going to be the people you would never expect. The people that's closest to you. They always say, it be your own niggas, bruh. It be your own niggas. You know? And it's just like, as soon as you start leveling up, these niggas want to say you acting funny. But was I acting funny when I was broke? When, was I was I acting funny? I was cool enough, right? I, I was good. Everything was good when we was just chilling and I was a loser and I was, you know, just smoking weed or just drinking and letting time just pass me by. And when I was gossiping with y'all and all of this stuff, right? When I was just, I wasn't elevating in life. Everything was all good, right? But now that when a nigga try to do better, try to elevate and shit, now I, I'm trying to act too good for somebody. Come on, man. That's the message of the day. People are going to be jealous. They're going to be envious. Keep elevating anyway. Keep elevating anyway. It's going to happen. You're going to have to leave some people behind, but it is what it is, man. Keep the people close to you who see your vision and who lift you up and genuinely support you and genuinely show you love. Sometimes you can't decipher the difference. Maybe I will go ahead and, and post a video on that one of these days, but that's it for this video. I love you. I will see you in the next one.